All right, this video is a brief discussion on the Cartesian coordinate system, also known as the rectangular coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system is made up of two number lines. All right, we're going to have one uh, vertical number line, like such. and one horizontal number line. Okay, I'm going to put a little arrow there and a little arrow there just to say um, you know, these lines do go on forever. It is true, this, the lines go on forever that way, the lines go on forever that way. There, there's the, there are the two number lines. We have one vertical one and one horizontal one. Uh, these are called um, axes. Right, you have a horizontal axis and you have a vertical axis. The horizontal one is called the x-axis. And the vertical one is called the y-axis. Now these two number lines meet at this spot right here. That's where they cross. And you can think of that as the zero for each of the number lines. right? So for this horizontal axis, the x-axis, uh, if this is the zero, then going out to the right here would be all your positive numbers. Positive one, two, three, four, so forth and so on forever. While going out to the left of that spot would be your negative numbers. Right? So just like a regular looking number line where this spot where they two meet two number lines meet is zero. Right? So for the vertical axis, the positive numbers are upward. So they go up this way, one, two, three, four, five, going up the direction that way, while the negative numbers go down, negative one, negative two, negative three, in that direction. Right? So that's how to read the two, the two axes. All right, so these two number lines, these two axes, form uh, what is called the, the coordinate plane, or the Cartesian plane. Uh, and if, uh, if we label our horizontal axis x and our vertical axis y, then it's also called the xy plane. All right, so yeah, that implies that the uh, these two axes could be called different names, and as you progress more in the mathematics, they could be given different names, but the concepts that we're playing with here are all going to stay the same. They just might be labeled differently, like, uh, say, instead of x, it's called the t-axis and the s-axis. But every, every, every one of the concepts we're going to discuss here stays the same, right? So don't let the name throw you off. So we're just going to stick with the x and y axis, x and y coordinate system. So as I said before, these two number lines uh, create this coordinate plane. And it separates this plane, these two number lines separate this plane into uh, four quadrants. Right, see that? One, two, three, four type quadrants there. And they have names. Alright, so this one up here is called quadrant one. Right? So this is the first quadrant right up here in the upper right hand corner. Then uh, we go counterclockwise, right? So over here is quadrant two. Then down here is quadrant three. And then here is quadrant four. Right? So those are the four quadrants. Uh, and they will be referred to by name from time to time. So it's important that you realize that quadrant one is up here in the right-hand corner. And then we go counterclockwise with their names. All right? Now, these two lines meet at this spot right here. Right? And that spot right there where we, already, where we just said a minute ago was where the, the zeros for each of the number lines. That is called the origin. That spot right there. Right? Where they meet. Origin is where those two number lines meet. So now in this coordinate plane, there are, there are an infinite number of what's called points. Every spot in the, in the coordinate plane is represented by a point. Uh, so let's uh, let's get to that next. All right. So here's the here's the note. Each point in the plane can be identified by a pair of numbers, and these numbers are called an ordered pair. They would look like say, all right. So that's an ordered pair. So the ordered pair is going to look like uh, the first part of the ordered pair is called the x-coordinate, and the second part of the ordered pair is called the y-coordinate. Right? So you have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. They have other fancy names, but these are the ones that we tend to um, use more frequently, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. 
All right? So our ordered pairs are really going to look like something like this, 2 comma 3. Say, so, all right, the x coordinate's 2 and the y coordinate's 3. That's how you read an ordered pair. Right? And it's called an ordered pair for a reason because the order matters, right? The x coordinate is first and the y coordinate is second. And that is very important to know, right? That the x part is first and the y part is second. Right? So we can plot points in the plane. Uh, plotting is just another name for graphing. Right? So let's talk about how to do that. All right, so here's our, our x, y axis. I think it's best to label. So there's x. There's y, and we want to plot some points, all right? So first plot, let's do the one that we just had a minute ago, 2 comma 3, or, yeah, 2 comma 3, all right? Now, you may have seen graph paper uh, in your, in, in, uh, somewhere along the way, and uh, you, know, you had a bunch of lot, vertical lines, a bunch of horizontal lines, right? It makes this grid, all right? So... Uh, I want to talk real quickly before we plot this 2 comma 3. All right, we'd have these little and I'm just going to put the, put these they're called tick marks, but really what they represent are those you know vertical lines that go through, All right? All right, and we have tick marks going up as well. And these these tick marks go on forever. All right. So we got a we got our place there. Now these these tick marks they they are referred to as the scale of the of the graph, and if nothing is is written, it's understood that the scale is one. So this would be okay. This part right here, if this was zero, this would be one, two, going out here to the right, three, four, five, six, so forth and so on. Right? Whereas going out to the left, we'd have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. The unit between um, one tick mark and the next is one unit. Right. Uh, and same with going up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, right? But there are times when uh, the scale might be different, and it would be labeled. So we might put, say, 10, right? And so then the tick marks would go by 10. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? But it would be, it would be designated. You have to be very clear what the scale of your... Um, axes is right? All right let me let me get rid of that 10 real quick okay so we're gonna stick right now with just the scale being one so if we want to plot 2 comma 3 uh, then uh, the x coordinate is 2 and the y coordinate is 3 so from the origin you count out 2 1 2 and then you kinda hang there for a minute and you look at the y coordinate and the y coordinate says um, it determines uh, how far up or down you go, you know, vertically, right? So this is a positive three. So from this spot here, we're going to go up three. One, two, three, and plot a point, right? That point right there is two comma three. We had something like uh, three comma two. Remember the order matters, right? So we go out three. 1, 2, 3 on the x axis, and then up 2. 1, 2. So that would put you right there, and that's at a different spot. The, the ordered pair 2, 3 and the ordered pair 3, 2 are different ordered pairs, right? And therefore they plot differently on the x, y plane. All right, everybody see that? So very important, um, you know, the order of how it goes. Now, what about the origin where they intersect there? Right? This spot right here. That's the ordered pair zero comma zero. Right? Doesn't go right or left on the x axis, doesn't go up or down on the y axis. So the x coordinate is zero and the y coordinate is zero. That's it. Right? So the origin is the ordered pair zero comma zero. Right? Now if we want to plot things like negative two five, right? So negative two five. So from the origin, we're going to, since the x coordinate's negative two, we go out to the left two, one two, and since the y coordinate's positive, we go up five. So one two three four five. So net so negative two five is right there. Everybody see that? All right. You should get your graph paper and uh, um, draw your x-axis and your y-axis, and then start plotting points. You know to practice. 
one negative four. Where would uh, where would one negative four be? Well, x is positive, so go out one, and then down four. One, two, three, four. So right there would be one negative four. What if we had negative three, negative one? Right, not a very good comma. Sorry about that. All right, so the x coordinate's negative, so you go left three, one, two, three, and then the y coordinate's negative, so you go down one. So negative three, negative one, would be right there. Everybody seeing that? All right. What about zero comma three? Zero comma three. Well, the x coordinate zero, so we don't go right or left. All right, but the, so, from, but for, so from the origin, you're just staying there. And then since the y value is positive, since the y coordinate is positive, we go up 3. 1, 2, 3, and it's this point right there on the y-axis. Everybody see that? All right, it's that point on the y-axis, 0, 3. And then I'm going to do, let's do this one. What about um, negative 2? comma zero. Right? So x coordinate's negative two, so two to the left, and the y coordinate is zero, so you don't go up or down, so right there on the x axis is negative two comma zero. Everybody see that? So yes, points are plotted on the x axis and the y axis as well. It's just that half of that ordered pair is going to be zero, depending on which axis your point is on. Right? So that's the rectangular coordinate system. And, uh, and plotting points in general. Uh, I encourage you to go get some graph paper and practice graphing a few points to get the hang of it. Know your quadrants. Know where quadrant 1 is, quadrant 2 is, quadrant 3 is, and quadrant 4 is. Um, know that the origin is 0, comma 0. And know how to plot points. And that will help us graph um, more interesting things uh, coming up soon. All right, that's about it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.